Well, today we start thatching with the reed, and I've been really looking forward to this for, for a couple of reasons. One is to take what I learnt from thatching with the rush and apply it to a different material, and two is that I'm really hoping that it's going to be easier to thatch with the reed because it will look neater than this. Getting this neat, well, that's my best job. <laughs> Isn't particularly neat. Uh, whereas the reed forms neat bundles, and therefore I'm hoping that it will form neat thatch. But time will tell. Right, I've got my coffee, it's time to jump into it. That kind of looks like a lot, doesn't it? I kind of calculated roughly that all the reed that I had cut, you know, the stack and all the stuff that is, you know, drying up there, was going to be enough to do a strip here all the way to the top and make a start on this one. So if I'm lucky, what I've got here ready to go, including the stuff that might be a bit dodgy, is enough to do a quarter of the next quarter of the roof, if I'm lucky. Uh, but anyway, time to start laying it and see how we go. happen here is have this layer, the bottom of this layer being flat or horizontal, level with the ground, or even actually sloping back up on the inside. So that when water comes down on the outside, it'll basically form a drip layer and just there. Pretty reasonable. Next layer. Now I've got these Japanese boat building chisels which I'll be doing a video on in due course. Uh, but the blasphemy I'm about to commit is to hold these in place that works rather well. Um, I'm not sure how the broke builder would feel about me doing that though. Uh, I used bamboo, uh, I used pieces of bamboo to do this last time, but they, they, they worked okay, but not brilliantly. Bother, 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 bother. I hadn't meant to put such a wide strip on. Lucky, shush mate. Right, Lucky, come here. Right, I hadn't put, hadn't meant to put such a wide strip on, but because the bundle sizes are a bit uneven, I sort of, it got a bit wider and then it got a bit wider again, and now I'm all the way out here and I haven't got the battens onto this. So I'm gonna have to uh, stop. Gotta get these battens on. So that is my next job. I'm going to cut this video off here because there's three more things I want to talk about and if I put them into the video, this video, then it's just going to run too long. So I thought I'd do individual shorter videos on those three other topics. And that is the making the use of a legget because the first one I made didn't work so well. 
The second thing is how I'm pinning the reeds to the roof because in previous videos when I was doing the rush I used bamboo stakes to do that and what I'm doing now works a lot lot better. The third thing is about blood loss in this whole project. So if any of those pique your interest and you think you might want to know more about what I'm going to be talking about, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification and uh, come along for the ride. And if you've got any questions or suggestions from what I've been doing so far, please jump into the comment section and uh, we'll <laughs> discuss further. I'm and the last thing I want, I want to say is if anyone wants to join me in this project, it's a big project, it's going to be going for a while because it's a lot of work, I would certainly enjoy the help. Even more than that, I would enjoy the company. So if you want to come along either harvesting reed and or doing the thatching or all the other stuff that's going to be done here, well, drop us a line and we'll see what we can organise. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.